Good morning, I'm Craig Rogers with Farm Server. I'm the Farm Server Technical Lead, and I'm here to talk to you guys today about the Management Zone Creation Tool that we launched last week. Um, from the home screen, uh, everything in Farm Server is very easy. Uh, we ask, ask the question, what do you want to do today? Today I want to create Management Zones. I already have a few of these saved, but I want to create a new one. And let's do the Pence Farm. You can select all your fields from a list or from a map and hit continue. The three main questions, what crop are you trying to plan for? Um, what do you want to select the zones from? Uh, let's do yield, do this for a cornfield. And I want to do, we give you the choice of three, five, and seven zones for now. Let's do three, hit continue. It shows you the, the, the yield on the field. So you can say, yes, I want that one, no, I don't. You can select as many or as little as you want and hit the continue button. So we selected the yield and it renders this map. So what we're seeing here is these are the highest areas of the field. Oop, zoomed in a little bit there. These are the highest areas of the field on the past three years of yield data. Uh, the red area is the lowest areas of the field for over the three years. And then we have the average or the middle section. So this is where the real power of farm server is because uh, you the grower um, has the most insight on the field. You know the intricacies of the field and how it reacts and, and what's a bad spot, what's a drowned out an area. You guys know that. You know, we just run the we run the math on it and that's what that's what we do best. What you do best is make it fit your operation. So uh, we have a bunch of or a few simple editing tools for you guys. Uh, just like a split, we'll take that zone and we will cut it in half and it splits, you can save it, change this. I really think that part of the field's a high area. And let's save that guy. And so this is saved. I mean, it's really easy to edit the fields. When you're happy with your zones, you hit the save button. It comes back and you're like, yes, that's what I want. We're gonna approve them. And now I can either be done for now or I can assign rates. Let's go ahead and assign rates for this field. I went ahead and went, put in here all the rates and the product that I want to use on this. Uh, that you can also in here uh, with the with the Kinsey Multi Hybrid Planner this year. This is where you'll be able to put in uh, the different hybrid if it's 6175 versus 5828. This is where you're going to be able to put that in. Uh, real simple. You hit the save and you've assigned all your rates for those fields. Uh, act like we did this for a whole bunch of fields. That would assign the rates for all the fields you had selected. I'm going to hit the continue button. And now, the, one of the best parts about farm servers, we created a way that's very easy for you guys to test what you're doing. So, not only create management zones, but really uh, prove to yourself that the zones you made are are good, and that you put the right population in the right areas. So, we have this add test block tool, and so what it's going to do, it's going to again ask you a question on what kind of test block do you want? Do you want a, a four pack side side by side? Do you want two side by side? Or do you want just one to place into a different zone? So here I'm just going to pick a two and how big do you want the block? And I want the blocks to be half acre. And so I'm going to place this in this low zone. So what it's doing is cutting those blocks into that zone. And now on this, on this low, I really want to test and see how 33,000 would do. And we'll put my product in here again. And I also want to test what would happen if I really planted 36,000. Well, that's what I used to do. I used to plant 36,000 across the whole field, and I think I was losing yield. And I hit the save button. That block is saved in there. I can add more if I want to. You can add as many test blocks as you want. You can turn this whole thing into a test block. Um, when I'm done, I hit save. And now, um, if I want to do anything else, I can. If I just want to be done for the day, I'm done. And now let's just say I want to export all three of these recommendations out to my John Deere or my Case or whatever you have. Uh, let's hit the export button. Let's do an out of field of 31,000. And that's if your if your GPS falls outside field or your boundary is not completely correct, um, it's going to default to 31,000. And if we have GPS drift or something like that, we want to correct for that. So let's put that at 31,000 too. And then ask you a question: What monitor do you have? Um, I have a John Deere, or I have the Case Voyager, or I have the Trimble FMD or the FMX. Uh, we have we can export to any of the manufacturers out in the industry. 
then you just hit the export button and it does it makes the files for you packages them up you put them on your thumb drive and, and you send them to the, the monitor you go out and you plant and you uh, become a more successful farmer